So today we're going to be using perplexity for AIS to create our own one click AI SEO tools. Now, if you're not sure what perplexity, is, basically it's an AI tool. You can use it kind of like a search engine, but you can also go to your library and then go over to collections over here. And then from here, you can organize your threads and you can make these shareable, but you can also create your own free tools. Let me give you an example, right? So for example, if we put into the create collection section over here, title, topical maps, we'll put an emoji. We'll put the emoji as a cheeky globe. Then we're going to put the description as create topical maps. And then finally in the AI prompt right here, we're going to say as the user for their sitemap. And then based on a previous SP that I've created for topical maps, we can plug in the instructions here, right? And essentially, what's the user for their compared to sitemap, niche, and language. And then based on the compared to sitemap, we'll create a topical map. And just as a very, very simple example and a quick one, we'll show you exactly how to create this. So from here, we've created the topical maps collection. And then every time I use this tool right here, I can organize my topical maps. Now, the cool thing about this is every time I click on the collection over here, I will see all the times I've used it and the different topical maps. Now, for example, if you're doing this for a client or you're doing it for your own site, then you could have different threads based on your competitors or for example, different threads based on your clients and then just easily organize your whole history chat with all the times that you've used this tool, which is very, very useful when you think about it over time. Because for example, if you go over to chat GPT over here, everything's a bit messy. It's disorganized. Yes, I can use my custom GPTs, but it's very hard to see like my history, for example, on this particular tool. I can scroll through my history on the left and you can see my chats from today, but that isn't quite as useful simply because it's not organized by the times I've used a custom GPT and it's not organized into collections, unlike Perplexity AI. So for example, if we say create a topical map into this tool, what it's going to ask for now is it's going to say to create a helpful topical map for your website, I'll need to create, I'll need some additional information from you. It says, please provide the sitemap URL or file for your main competitor's website. What is the specific niche or industry or website your business is in? And what is the primary language you want the topical map to, to be created in? Now, this is really useful because it's basically very, very user friendly. And in literally one click, you can generate a topical map based on your niche, your industry, your language, and your competitive sitemaps. It's all personalized to you, and it just makes topical maps way easier. And this is free to use, right? So that's what we like. So what we're going to do from here is start providing the information that it's requested. So I'm just going to grab a example sitemap. We can take this from a website that I own. We'll grab the URLs from this list. Now, obviously, you can do this for your competitor as well. Then we can paste this into Perplexity, which we've done. We've pasted it, and you can see it's attached it right there. We'll put the niche as birds, and we'll put the English as language. Now, if you're not familiar with topical maps, basically, this is an easy way to organize your website so that you can categorize all the categories that you need and all the posts that you need underneath each category. And if you do this based on your competitors, then you can easily achieve top authority because you can create content around what's already working for your top ranking competitors because you know they already have authority in your niche. It's very easy to replicate it and understand how to organize your site based on a useful tool like this. And it's free. So you can see I've not even selected Pro right here. So this is using the free version. So we'll hit enter. We'll wait for that to load. And now you can see that it's generated in literally one click based on our competitor sitemap, a topical map for our whole website, right? So for example, we've got bird behavior as a category, and then we've got why birds sing, bird mating, bird migration, how birds find food, unique bird behaviors. Now, if we go back to this sitemap right here, let's check if it's actually used the content from our sitemap. So for example, it's taken the topics of why do birds sing and then plug that into the sitemap underneath bird behavior. Then we've got a list of other categories and we can go through the list. Now you could ask it to keep generating more topics or you could paste in another competitor sitemap and then generate an even bigger topical map based on multiple competitors so that you can get as much topical authority as possible. Now, in terms of how you would use this essentially, and I'll come on to more tools and more use cases in a second, but in terms of how you would use this specific tool, you'd basically create one topical cluster at a time, right? So for example, you could do bird species, 
cover the main topics underneath that category, and then move on to the next cluster and the next cluster. And obviously every single page that you create within this cluster right here has to be interlinked, right? So that it's easier for Google to crawl and it's easier for Google to see that you have authority on that particular topic. Now, usually your categories are actually gonna be bigger and larger, right? So usually five or six different topics underneath one single category isn't enough unless you create like massive guides, right? So you could ask Perplexity to generate more topics underneath each category, or you could make these like huge, huge guides, right? So for example, bird migration patterns, you can imagine how vast that particular guide could be so that you rank for loads of long tail keywords related to the same topic. But that's essentially how you can automate topical maps in one click with Perplexity AI. Very easy and simple to do. Now, what I'm gonna do from here, as we go along, is create an SAP with links to the free tools that I'm creating today. So we'll make this shareable. And then additionally, I will give you the prompts in case you wanna just copy and steal and rip it off from me. All right, so you got the tool there, which you'll get access to at the end of this video and the prompts underneath. But before I give you access, I wanna show you some other cool stuff. Now, whilst we're on this topic, what I'd also say is that if you look at this collection, so this is a collection AK the tool, right? And just to keep it really simple, if you're used to chat GPT like I was, for example, this is a custom GPT. And then these are the times that you've used it. Right? So for example, you've got the custom GPT at the top and then the times that you've used it. Now, another cool feature with these one-click tools that you can create is that you can actually invite contributors, right? So for example, I can invite someone via email right here and then they can contribute to that tool and make it better. So for example, if you want to share it with your team, community, if you want to share it with your audience, etc., if you want to share people visiting your website to check it out, then you could do that right here. And then additionally, what you can also do inside the collection is you could be a bit cheeky here and create something like this, where every response actually links to your funnels. Kind of like I've talked about previously in other videos, see my recent videos about one-click tools with Poe and also one-click tools with ChatGPT. So that for every answer and output, it actually recommends me and directs traffic to my funnels with a UTM so that I can easily track how much traffic is actually going to that funnel as well. So that I can get traffic from the tool if I share with other people, and then I can automate the processes that I use the most. So for example, if I type into the collection, into the tool, create a bird stopple map, it creates a topple map for me, but then additionally it links to my funnels so that if someone is using this tool, they're more likely to go directly to my funnels and buy something, right? Easy way to make money. You can insert affiliate links into there. You can insert disclaimers whatever you want to do, right? So if you're an SEO agency, you could generate traffic. If you're a consultant, you can get email opt-ins. There's a lot you could do with that, which is pretty powerful. Now, some people might be asking at this point as well, when you publish these topical maps, can they be indexed on Google and ranked for different keywords? Kind of like how you can do with custom GPTs already. So for example, if you look at this GPT that I've created, we can run it for Ahrefs and you can see that it is ranking on Google for a lot of keywords. It's generating traffic directly from Google and it was very easy to do. It took me about five or 10 minutes live on a video to set up. Now, if we check perplexity collections, it doesn't seem like these are getting much traffic at all directly from Google. So for example, if you were to replicate the same process on perplexity, you can see right here, it's not really ranking for a lot of keywords. So I wouldn't recommend that approach, but it's still pretty good for creating free tools that you can share with your audience. And it's pretty simple and easy to do. Now, some other ideas for this would include some of the other tools that I previously set up on ChatGPT. And we could do the same thing on Perplexity, right? So a lot of people, they email me and they're like, should I be using Perplexity? Should I be using ChatGPT, et cetera? So if you prefer to use Perplexity, then you can actually take all the same use cases that you see inside custom GPT and then insert that into Perplexity AI. As an example of this, if you go back to my library, and we'll go to collection. We can take the prompt from my SEO outline creator like so, plug that into perplexity, take exactly the same prompt, add a cheeky little emoji. And one thing I've spotted is that it does seem to have a character limit, right? So you don't seem to be able to put as many characters into your custom GPT as you can into your perplexity collection versus say a custom GPT. So for example, you can see I've only got a limited number of characters. So I'm just gonna delete some of the details inside the instructions, but you can still see the power of it, right? 
then we'll plug that into the description we'll hit create and there we go we've got our collection ready to use one tiny little aspect that is quite different to chat gpt and this is just a little minor thing but you can see for example there's emojis next to each collection and that is way easier to organize versus say custom gpts where you can have loads of custom gpts but they're all cut off and you don't really know the difference between each one of them now also inside your collections a little bit different to say custom gpts or po is that you can assign a focus right so for example you can say right i want to focus on videos or ready i want to focus on writing or academic stuff and you can also attach files right there as you can see so it's pretty powerful there's a lot of good stuff you could do with it some examples of what you could do is automate SEO outlines, keyword research. You could automate keyword clustering, top of maps, like I've shown you. You could create a version of yourself, for example, like I've got Julian Goldie GPT, but you could just as easily insert that into Perplexity as well. And there's a lot of good stuff that you could do inside Perplexity with these free one-click AI SEO tools. And again, this is not using the pro version. You can see pro is not selected right there. We can switch it on, but if you don't want to, it's not there. And you can see on an incognito tab, when I'm not logged in, I can access Top One Maps plus the different threads underneath it. And then if I want to use it myself, I can just log in with Google or Apple. So just to recap, I've shown you exactly how to create these custom tools. So you just log into Perplexity, you go to library, you go to collection, click on the plus sign, add a title, emoji, description, and prompt. And then you can just add in your favorite prompts into these tools, save them. You've got them listed on the right hand side. And you'll also see the threads from when you've used them previously. So for example, you can see we've used the topical map collection twice. Here's the previous threads that we've used and we can just run through them and get back to them whenever we need. I've shown you examples of how I've used the one click AI SEO tool to create a topical maps example, plus a prompt I use so you can steal that. And also if you want ideas and use cases of what to create, then I've included links to all of my custom GPTs. And there's about 30 free AI SEO tools that you can literally just copy and steal from me. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this, I will include it inside my free SEO course that comes with 68 lessons on exactly how to rank and get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO. If you scroll down to free SEO tools, then you go to Perplexity AI. You can see the SAP in the description right there. And if you want to get more leads, traffic and sales using SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot without Facebook or Google ads. And we'll give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. You'll get your questions answered and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website to increase your SEO traffic. Links in the comments and description to book that one-to-one -one free SEO strategy session in. And thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.